Hi guys, yeah, it's Chris Taylor here, 2019 European and National Aquathlon Champion in my age group. And today I'm going to discuss, is it important to go by feel in your training? And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Going by feel is a powerful tool in anyone's training. So in a nutshell, you should always be going by um, feel. Now, you, you know your body be better than anybody else, and it's important that you listen to your body for a number of reasons, and to stop uh, you from getting ill, from getting injuries, from overtraining, etc. Um, but this is neglected, and I've discussed this in the past in my heart rate uh, training videos. But this video is purely about going by feel and what you should do uh, regarding your training. Now, everyone gets sucked in by all the technology. Um, I'm one of these. Um, you, you see all the technology, like um, the heart rate monitors, the, um, the watches. And again, a lot of people get um, fixed on pace. Now, um, whether you're training for a marathon, triathlon, um, if you're not feeling it on the day, it's important that you back off. Um, so if you're going for a run, for example, in marathon training and you feel absolutely rubbish, but you still want to get that certain pace that you, you've got to get in that train in, in your training and you start off and then you're struggling and struggling, that's not the way to train. You're just breaking your body down and um, you are overtraining and you will um, get an injury and you could even have a burnout and um, decide that you don't want to do your hobby anymore. So these are things, um, so these are things that could contribute into um, m m well, making you, you know, get injured and stuff like that. So with Phil, what is the main element of what you should be doing first? So with anything, um, feel is most important. You know your body best, as I said before, and the reason you should always go by feel, um, as well, you can, still, of course, I still use, um, I use a lot, the heart rate monitors and the watches and stuff, but um, a lot of it is that if I'm pushing hard, um, for example, I know my limits, um, and if I'm not feeling it on the day and I'm struggling, I, I will not push that hard, although my uh, watch may say um, I'm doing I'm doing quite uh, well. I'm doing quite well. So with Phil, it's always important that you do um, look at your um, you know your body best. So you decide um, how you're going to go during the day. So if you go for a run um, and you're not feeling a hundred percent, don't go fast. Go easy. Go a lot slower. Um, this is very important because what it does it um, allows uh, you, well it allows your body to re to recover and um, so with going by feel it um, basically in a nutshell you've got to listen to your body now people saying can you train to going by feel of course you can um, with speed sessions uh, uh, for example in races um, I don't look at my watch when I'm running. I know I'm pushing hard and I mean, my triathlon races have come off and I know, for example, that if I look in on my watch when I come off the back of um, the bike onto the run, no point looking at it because I ain't going to get a PB in my um, triathlon race because I've, I've done a hard uh, swim session and a hard bike session. So when you think about, it, oh yeah, I'm going to be a minute maybe slower than PB or a bit slower, um, could have done all that and my, my body's tired. But um, going by feel, I know whether to push myself and how far I can go. So I know that if I'm looking at my watch and I'm going, well, actually, no, I'm going 30 seconds, a, um, for example, 30 seconds a mile slower. Well, then why am I not, um, why am I slowing down? And then that'll play men, uh, mental tricks with you. Um, so with your head. So what I would I do is that I go by feel, and if I feel like I can push, I can push a bit more. 
Um, people use heart rate monitors to judge themselves in races. That that's good. I'm, I I personally um, don't in triathlon, uh, but I do in running races, um, and I look at the um, pay the heart rate there to dictate the pace sort of thing. But in, for example, triathlon races, as I said, um, I don't go by pace, come out and I just go, um, I go by feel. Now your training, um, as I did like sort of get sidetracked to the uh, race element part, but with your training, um, you go and do run reps, for example. Um, yes, your heart rate may be low or something, but again, you may not feel um, 100%. Your um, muscles may be tired, um, it could be a number of factors, you could be a bit stressed. Um, obviously, I'm not saying um, don't use technology because I use it and it's a very powerful tool um, and the heart rate monitors are very important in anyone's training. Um, but you, you must realise and must not get fixed on use, um, using the, do not get fixed on these tools because you, you know your body best and you must listen to your body. Now with training, you could um, you could ease into training and see how like your reps, for example, or your bike sessions, see how you feel, um, and then you can go harder, harder. But it's it's important that you do back off if you don't feel hundred percent. Even if your watch is telling you you're fine, and um, for some reason you just can't get that pace, it, then it's important to um, back off. So you, you should know. So I'm always prepared if I go out um, and I go on a zone two training session. Um, my coach Mark Shepherd has always said that he said if you if you do feel tired, don't feel right, back off. There's nothing wrong with backing off at all. Um, don't go chasing the sessions. So I've I've gone out um, before in sessions and I've started well and I felt really tired and I've, I've just eased off or I, um, I can't get anywhere near that pace and I've gone by feel. Um, with, with with interval sessions or speed work, um, you would you you can judge that because you know uh, your um, ability and you know your your limits, so you you can judge you can judge that, and you, uh, you you can tell by your breathing and how you feel. So what I normally do is when um, I'm running or go for a run, uh, when I do a warm up, I normally do like a systems check. I normally say to myself like, see how I'm feeling um, in the warm up, see my breathing, see what look at my um, technique and everything like that, um, just to see if it's all right. And uh, in my mind, I go through, am I feeling all right? And then I go for a session. Um, yeah, and, and if um, I, I don't over push it. So basically this video is to say that it's important that you um, listen to your body. Um, and going by feel is the most powerful tool um, that you could ever get, of course. You know your body better. Um, of course, the science, um, lab testing, what, uh, watches, heart rate monitors, that all helps. That's all really important as well, but not as important as by going by feel. So don't get fixed on um, like looking at other people. You, you should be your own person and um, always what is good for your body. That, if you're running other people and you're struggling, it's okay, slow down. Or you're cycling, slow down. Don't need to keep up with them. Don't um, overdo it. Um, so that's my video. Um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Um, drop a comment and um, leave a like. Thank you very much. And the uh, champions of the Vizcentro uh, category, Henrietta Tarasevic, Emiliano Cristado, Pinchy Beach, Chris Tadulu.